is Maddie. I'm a senior in civil engineering and I'm going to show you our concrete lab. So this is CEL 100. It is a civil engineering lab, also known as the concrete lab. It is behind the Engineering Sciences Building here on the Evansdale campus. This is where ASCE's concrete community meets and also where you might go for some um, classes such as CE 416 Advanced Concrete Materials and CE 462 um, Reinforced Concrete Design. You also, um, so in those classes you would come in here and you would see if the design that you came up with in class actually met the design requirements or the calculations that you predicted. This is also where some grad students will come to work on their research projects. The Concrete Canoe Competition is a national yearly competition held by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Here at WVU, we have a team where we compete yearly in this competition. It's a team made up of civil engineers and you can join as early as your freshman year. In that um, design process, we design a canoe made out of lightweight concrete that's able to float and also able to support about four paddlers when on a lake. Um, we compete in a yearly regional competition where we are judged both on the technical aspects of our canoe and also we get to actually take the canoe on the water and race against other schools. Um, our regional competition, we compete against schools in West Virginia, Virginia, and Washington, DC. Um, after that competition, whoever wins the regional competition is able to advance to the national competition. This is our canoe from 2020 called the Cheat Lake Loch Ness. Um, in the fall semester, we usually design the mix, um, usually have that completed around December. And then in January, um, we are able to pour the canoe into a mold. And this was our product for the 2020 year. Hi, I'm Drew Ryder. I'm a, one of the Concrete Canoe co-captains, and uh, this is a table where uh, the Concrete Canoe team batches their mixes. Um, so that involves mixing the uh, cementitious materials, the aggregates, water, and admixtures thoroughly, and making cubes in a mold. Um, so the goal is to design a mix that floats on water and supports the has enough compressive strength to support the paddlers, like Maddie had said. Um, and also, the mix may have some certain specific design parameters uh, set by ASCE. For example, they might not allow an aggregate one year, or they might want 50% of your aggregates to be renewable or recycled. Um, so the mix design meetings, they'll go from September till January, or whenever a uh, final mix is decided upon and how you decide upon the final mix is the end result is a cube. You crush the cubes with a compression tester at 7 days, 12, 14 days, and 28 days to determine their compressive strength. Compare it between the cubes and pick one, which one is the best for the team's goals. Um, here are some things we've created in the lab. Here's a cube that would be crushed in the compression tester to find the compressive strength. Here's a little decorative flying dub V, um, and here's the mold for that. And here is the state of West Virginia. And my favorite is a concrete Frisbee with the state inside it. So this is a compression tester, and it's used to finally experiment on the values of compressive strength for the cubes that the team creates. Um, so the cubes made are compressed over here using this until they experience failure or cracking, at which point the team records the value and PSI uh, for compressive strength uh, from the gauge. And so this recorded value is compared to what was expected, as well as other mix designs the team has already made. And from that information, the team decides which mix design to use for the full canoe.